So we're gonna look at some algebraic expressions. So we're gonna look at, we've got four different types of examples here. Okay, so first is a plug-in type question, right? So we have x equals negative two. And then they ask you what is two x squared plus five x minus seven. Okay, so all we're really gonna do here is plug in that negative two for x. So two times negative two squared plus five times negative two minus seven. Okay, so what does that leave us with? Two times four plus five times negative two is negative 10 minus seven. Okay. What we're left with here, two times four is eight, minus 10, minus seven. Eight minus 10 is negative two. Negative two minus seven is negative nine. Okay, so that's plug in. Okay, next. So simplifying an expression. All right, so write this one up here. Three times five X plus four minus two times six X plus three. Okay, so what we're gonna do is use distributive property, then subtract, right? That means I'm gonna multiply three times the five X plus three times the four, and the same over here. So three times five X, 15 X, three times four is 12, so plus 12 minus, and we have two times six X, so 12 X, and two times three is six. Okay, now we're gonna subtract like terms. So we have, <coughs> 15x minus 12x, that one minus that one, and 12 plus 6. Okay, so 15x minus 12x, 3x minus 12 plus 6, 18. left. Okay, so now it's with um, a fraction and variable we're adding here. So we got one third x plus one half x uh, equals three. Okay, and what is x? Okay, so we're adding, just because there's a, a variable there, don't let that throw you off, right, is we need to find that common denominator, right? So the common denominator will be six, right? So one third x is the same as two sixths x, right? Just multiply the top and the bottom by two, right? One times two is two, three times two is six. So two sixths x plus three six x plus three, right? The way I did that, right, is with the one half x, I multiplied top and bottom, numerator and denominator by three, so one times three is three, two times three is six, and we have three six x equals three. Okay, so now we can add these two together, right? So two six plus three six equals five six x equals three. Okay, and now we need to get rid of this five six, right? So I need to multiply it by what's called the inverse, right? So the inverse of five six is six over five, right? So when I multiply that by six out of five, that's gonna cancel everything out, and then we just have x. And remember to do it to the other side. X equals 18 fifths, right? Three times six is 18, one times five is five.
All right. One left. All right, this one's a little more complicated plug-in, but we can do it. X equals nine. Y equals one third X. They want to know X minus Y over two. Okay, how do we do this, right? So this looks complicated, doesn't it? All right, so the big thing is we need to figure out what Y equals before we worry about X minus Y divided by two, okay? So it's pretty simple, we just have to plug that in. So Y equals one third X, right? Y equals one third times X, which is nine. Right? Which equals nine over three. Nine over three equals three. Okay, so now we know that x equals nine. It's nine. Y equals three all over two. Okay, that's six over two. Everybody can see that what we did here, right? X was nine, right? Put that right there into the formula. Y was three, we found out, right? So we subtract that, X minus Y, three divided by two equals six divided by two, which equals three.